shut up, sit down, relax. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We've been waiting for a very long time on a sequel to the immensely popular Grand Theft Auto V. With new consoles on the horizon, we believe that developer Rockstar is finally gearing up production on GTA 6. Since new hardware brings new possibilities, we've made a list of things we want to see in this epic game. Here are 10 gameplay features Rockstar needs to add in GTA 6. Stop! Get down on your knees. Now down on your stomach. There you go. We've been a criminal in five games already, so why not play the role of a cop for once? Assuming GTA 6 will once again let you play as a bunch of different characters, this would be a great addition. Imagine a story where you play both the bad and the good guy. It would be awesome to commit crimes as a criminal and later try to solve those same crimes as a police officer. Man, take it yeah, easy. homies for life, street loyalty. That's all bullshit, Carl. Didn't you learn that when they ran you out of town just because you let Brian die? We know that the developers at Rockstar love the movie Heat, so this may very well come true. The money's ours now! Let's evacuate the area at once! We'll find them faster if we split Two up. choices! Okay, Give yourself up regroup. or go home this in a body working. bag! Damn! I thought he was here! Give I me some cover! Down. Talking about police, the cops in GTA 6 need to be a whole lot smarter. We want police officers that act in a realistic manner. This means that they don't immediately start shooting when you run a red light. Police officers should run for cover when you pull out a gun instead of just standing there like the Terminator. Smarter cops will bring a much needed extra layer of realism to the game. While the map in GTA 5 certainly isn't small, we want an even bigger map in GTA 6. We loved the fact that it took a very long time to discover everything in San Andreas. The map in GTA 6 needs to be just as huge and even more diverse. The different areas need to range from densely populated cities to remote locations where you can enjoy the beautiful nature. We also wouldn't mind playing a GTA that's set in a European city for a change. Trying to enter buildings in GTA 5 is a very frustrating activity. It's like the game is set in a universe where it's always Sunday because almost every shop in the game is closed. We would love to be able to enter more buildings in GTA 6. The latest Yakuza games made it possible to enter lots of shops and did it without load times. So we expect to be able to open a whole lot more doors in the next GTA. While we're on the subject of buildings, we would love to see more destructibility in the next game. Blowing stuff up never gets old, and it's so much more fun when buildings explode in a realistic way. Just look at the mayhem you can cause in Red Faction Guerrilla and imagine how much more awesome this could be in GTA 6. The power of the next generation of consoles should definitely make this possible. What's up? Want to go bowling? Cousin, I am loving the bowling. Pick me up in next hour. I come to get you, Roman. We love the side activities in the GTA games. 
No, we're not talking about Roman constantly calling us to ask if we want to go bowling in GTA 4. We're talking about the tennis, golf, and hunting mini-games in GTA 5. We would love to see even more hobbies and pastimes in a sequel. Just look at the amazing amount of side activities the Yakuza games offer. The game world of GTA 6 should also offer plenty of things to do to make sure you never get bored. Besides being a cop, we would also love to see Rockstar try their hand at a female protagonist. So why not introduce a female cop to kill two birds with one stone? Every GTA game lets us play as a male character, and it would be very interesting to see a woman's perspective for a change. We wonder how the writers at Rockstar would incorporate a female lead in their story. Don't get us wrong, we think Trevor, Michael, and Franklin are amazing characters, but we simply want to see something different in GTA 6. The amazing work of the community is one of the main reasons why GTA 5 is still very popular today. There are so many great mods out there that completely change the game. While the console versions also have mods, it's really about all the stuff that happens on the PC. That's why we want universal mod support across all platforms in GTA 6. We want to be able to download something cool on the PC and later add the same thing to the PS5 version of the game. has never been one of GTA's strong points. The fighting system remains very basic and needs to be improved. We even prefer the combat from sleeping dogs over the combat in GTA 5. <laughs> so a new game in the series needs a completely overhauled combat system. We want to be able to build up a combo meter and perform brutal finishing moves. They can keep the funny ragdoll physics, but everything else needs to be completely revamped. With Grand Theft Auto Online, Rockstar Games is looking to bring the heart of the Grand Theft Auto experience to a living online world with multiple players. Rockstar is still making a ridiculous amount of money with the online mode in GTA 5. While this mode certainly has improved a lot over the years, we can't help but feel disappointed by the lack of single player content. For all I know, you're bugged all to high hell and you don't even know the bugs exist! That's why we would love to see one seamless game world in GTA 6. No longer having to choose between single player and GTA Online would make the game feel a lot less disjointed, and hopefully also ensure that we get a couple of story missions as DLC. Hey, rap money! <laughs> this is a gold form! Solid! My name will go down in history. Those were 10 gameplay features Rockstar needs to add in GTA 6, according to us. Do you have even better ideas? Let us know in the comments. We're a new channel, so likes and subscribes are extra appreciated. See you next time!
Nico, good game. You're good at bowling, and I'm good with the ladies. We both have skills. You mind driving your tired cousin home? Thank 